everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 careers and job ideas relating to the field of environmental science, outdoors, and nature in general. And these are jobs that are really focused around people who love the planet, love being outside, but these jobs do not require a degree. You may have seen some of my other environmental career series videos, but all of those jobs do require at least a bachelor's degree. So today we're gonna to be getting into some of the jobs you can do either while you are working on your degree in environmental science, or if you don't wanna get a degree and you still wanna look at what your options are before you commit to paying for a bachelor's degree or spending that time. This video today is sponsored by Wildlife Collections. I am happy to have them back as a sponsor for the second time. So from my previous videos, you might already know about the sea turtle tracking bracelets. Each bracelet is attached to a specific turtle that you are able to track through GPS. Similar idea, but these bracelets support Save the Elephants charity, which is a Kenya-based charity that's currently working on elephant conservation through the lens of anti-poaching work and bringing awareness to elephants and all of the conservation issues facing elephants today. So the two elephants that I will be looking at today is Edison right here. You get a little informational card about the elephant that um, your bracelet is connected to. The other elephant I have is Jipe. So once you pull up the tracking code, you can actually see a brief little rundown of the elephant. So you can see right here, this is Jipe's movements from July to September 2020. You can also see it in video form. So you can see the little elephant icon on there moving all around the landscape and tracking her over time. If you're interested in purchasing an elephant or a turtle bracelet for yourself or a loved one this holiday season, check the link in the description box below that will take you to Wildlife Collections website. And thank you so much Wildlife Collections for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into 10 careers in the outdoor and nature field that you can do without a degree. So the first career we're gonna look at is wildlife and fisheries tour guide. So you might have already experienced a little bit of this career because anything like whale watching, bird watching tours, when you go on vacation and you go do like a wild animal tour, all of those are generally run by tour guides that often do not have a college degree. However, they do learn a lot on the job and get a lot of training to get to that point, but it's not required that you have a college degree to do this type of job. Similar careers would be fishing guide. I know fishing guide jobs can be really common um, a bit more up north and they're often seasonal jobs as well. So they can be something you can do on your summer vacation from school. To be a fish and wildlife tour guide, you should have already a good understanding of the landscape you're working in and also be sociable and able to easily talk to people, especially for sustained periods of time if you are running a larger fishing expedition. Second job idea is the Conservation Corps. So the Conservation Corps, I know they exist in the United States and Canada. I'm, I'm not sure about other countries outside of the US and Canada, but the Conservation Corps, basically it is this um, organization that you sign up with and they basically use your labor like for multiple different things, such as trail crew work, um, invasive species removal, which we're gonna talk about shortly in this video and they pay you a stipend. So the stipend can often be quite low, so that's a good thing to keep in mind, but housing is often provided in some of these situations, and it's more about getting the experience and doing it more of a short-term type of option and then moving into something a little bit more long-term. So the reason why I say that is because conservation core jobs usually restrict you for age. It's usually designed for people 18 to 35 years old who are trying to get experience in the outdoor field and want to do some physical labor work to build up their resume. The next job is fish and wildlife warden or um, officer. They, they have different names, but basically this is an officer, like a law enforcement type position, but instead of regular law enforcement, it focuses around fish and wildlife laws and ensuring the safety of humans by preventing wildlife human conflict. So if you have a military or a police background, this could be a really good option for you to transition into. I will say though, this job sometimes requires a diploma. It's going to depend on the organization you work with. However, sometimes they will take experience in lieu of a two-year diploma to do this job. 
Next job is invasive species technicians. So invasive species technicians, I mentioned before, can also be work that you do in a conservation corps, or it could be work that you are independently doing as your job. So often you will get hired by maybe a city parks department or, or a company that manages laborers in this department. So when you're doing invasive, invasive species work, a lot of times it's gonna be weed removal. Um, this also gets a little bit into the pesticide applicator side of things, which is another path. Usually you need a certification to go through that, but there's also jobs just straight up removing invasive vegetation. Those jobs can definitely get you outside moving and get you in the world of environmental science with minimal competition at the job application stage. Next job is spill prevention and response officers and technicians. So there's a few different paths you can go down if you're interested in helping clean up and manage oil spill response. There are private sector spill response contracting companies. In British Columbia, it's called um, Western Canada Marine Response Corporation. Or another option is enlisted positions in the Coast Guard, um, United States Coast Guard and Canadian Coast Guard, um, where you are actually operating um, boats to look for, um, prevent, and to respond to oil spills in the marine environment. Often um, local departments of ecology or environment uh, for your state or provincial government will also have response officers within that department to have the government oversight role. This is another one where a policing and military background is very um, respected and will get you a leg up, uh, especially if you're doing enforcement actions rather than just cleanup. Wildlife photography and videography. So I have so many wildlife photographers and videographers around me, but I don't actually know too much about wildlife photography. Often this is a freelance job. You generally do not need to have a degree for this job. While it may help, not necessary. Uh, this is a very self-motivated position and it's perfect for someone who really is able to um, hustle for work. That's one thing I've learned interacting with wildlife photographers and videographers and artists too, is they need to have that understanding of the conservation side of the animals that they're photographing and videotaping, but also bring in the artistic and the beauty side of things. It really brings together both sides of your brain, the left brain and the right brain on this one. And you really need an entrepreneurial spirit to um, make this one work as a good paying career. Next job is forestry technician. So forestry technicians, I say forestry, but that, that's a huge world. That could be anything from planting trees. You know, a lot of these countries have tree planting mandates. So you could be out there planting trees in the forest, which does not require a forestry degree, or you can actually be working in a nursery, um, growing trees that are gonna be used for forestry operations. Next job is wildlife guardian. So a wildlife guardian is someone who works in human wildlife conflict. And that's just one title. You can often find human wildlife um, conflict technician or similar jobs to that. And those are often available through wildlife agencies, parks departments, and can involve tracking and managing wildlife conflict from a boots on the ground sort of perspective. So what I mean by that is here in um, Canada, we often have these things called bear jams. And it's basically when a bunch of cars are parked up on the side of the road blocking traffic. And so there's actually people who go around and they make sure that the bears aren't being disturbed from humans that were watching them. And there's many other forms of this, and some of them can take the forms of outreach and public education but a human wildlife conflict um, technician or a wildlife guardian can be a job that is often offered to folks without a degree. The next job is wildlands firefighters. So I've talked about wildlands firefighters in some of my other jobs, but firefighting jobs um, are only going to need to be more and more populated with young people as we kind of manage the impacts of climate change more and more in the world and fires increase in intensity. So especially if you're located in fire prone landscapes, a wildlands firefighter is a job that's going to get you out into nature and get you learning about how to work 
together in a team with your coworkers. And yes, this is a job that both men and women who are physically fit can do. Now this job, as with many of the other jobs on this list, is seasonal. So you have to think about what you're gonna do in the off season and how to support yourself there, but it can be an opportunity to really get a lot of work in in some of those really fire prone landscapes. And now let's talk about agricultural sector careers. This is not really one job, this is many jobs. There are so many careers in the agricultural sector. So, you know, you think you're agriculture, you think you're standard farmer and rancher. However, there are a lot of jobs coming up that I've been seeing in regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agriculture and um, organic farming. So, and some of the other less conventional farming methods, conventional in terms of modern ages, a lot of these actually were conventional in the past, um, they're really starting to get a huge rise in popularity. And there is a new group of young farmers, um, especially urban farmers and um, farmers who practice regenerative techniques and traditional um, growing techniques. And there are a lot of opportunities there to, to get your hands dirty in the industry of agriculture, farming, and ranching. A good way to get into this field is woofing. If you guys haven't already heard of it, it's actually an opportunity where you work at an organic farm in exchange for housing and food. Uh, not everyone can take these kind of opportunities, but it's just something I was gonna put out there for kind of getting into this field without fully jumping all the way in. If you get an opportunity to work at a farm for a temporary amount of time, you can see if this is the type of job that you wanna do. So those are all of my 10 plus really with some of those jobs, uh, jobs where you're gonna be working outdoors and in nature and you're not going to need a bachelor's, master's or a PhD to get into these fields. Thank you so much for Wildlife Collections for sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if any of these jobs interest you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.